course. <laughs> we were sitting at the beginning of this interview. Now we're standing. Yeah, absolutely. You're just an NBA star. Thank you for joining us. Tell us about your event this weekend. Uh, it's going to be a fun field event. Uh, you know, we have a lot of things that's, that's lined up um, on Friday. Um, we have, you know, my annual basketball camp. Um, I'm really excited for that because it's the first year that it's going to be at my alma mater um, hall. Mm -hmm. um, we have that during the day, um, you know, 9 to 12. We have the um, you know, first through sixth graders. And then, um, you know, 2 through 5, we have the, um, you know, the, the seventh grade through 12th graders. So it's going to be really, really fun. And then um, at nighttime, we go, we go to bowl. Um, you know, every event is sold out. And then Saturday, we go to... Um, Wild River Country, and then we have my gala event on Saturday, and then Sunday's the big day. Everybody's really anticipating because we have a lot of NBA players coming down. You know, we have Zach Levine, um, Kelly Oubre, and all those guys coming down wow. for the celebrity basketball game. So, you know, it's going to be a fun filled weekend for sure. About 100 tickets left, you said, for that yeah, event. Yeah, 100 tickets left. About 2,000 has been sold, so it's going to be sold out, and wow. I can't wait. Uh, it's going to be like it's going to be like 2012 again when I was in high school. Oh playing, my goodness! Playing against Parkview, so it's going to be really, really fun. It's amazing. Hull High School, you are so loved there, and really all over Arkansas. Your jersey yeah. was retired at Hull High School. What did that mean to you? Uh, it was crazy. Uh, you know, when Coach Coleman called me and told me that that you know that they want to that, that they wanted to retire my jersey. Um, you know, it was a crazy moment for me. Um, I never in a million years would I think that my high school jersey would get retired, but, you know, it was fun that it happened, and, you know, I'm, I'm really blessed and grateful for that. Absolutely. This weekend will be so special. Again, I've said it, I'll say it again, you're so loved here. How yeah. much does it mean when you come back and everybody is just so thrilled? It means a lot, man. Just to know that, you know, where I come from, where everybody still shows me love, still shows me a ton of support. And, you know, that's all you can really ask for. Um, you know, I think my calling is helping others now. You know, I think one of the highest things that you can do is, you know, inspire somebody else. And, you know, guys like Cordis Williamson and Joe Johnson inspired mm -hmm. me. So, you know, I'm trying to inspire the next. Absolutely. Have some young NBA stars coming Absolutely. out of this Hopefully camp that you're putting on. Absolutely. have a lot on. of them coming on. Right I now. love that. Yeah. You give back so much. In yeah. the NBA, they actually featured you giving back. They had an entire special on it, you helping people during Christmas time. Yeah. You're helping people this weekend. You have a charity event. Why is it so important for you to give back? Um, it's, it's important to me because, you know, um, I started my foundation for single moms mm -hmm. um, because I had a single mom growing up. I watched her work, work tirelessly uh, to help me and my little brothers, you know, you know, survive. So, you know, that's my passion. Um, I, I'm passionate about my mom and everything she does. Um, I say it in every interview that I do that, you know, my mom's a hard worker, and I feel like I got my work, my hard working qualities from her. Mm. And, um, you know, that's, that's my calling right now. I know she's so proud. Absolutely. Oh, I know she's so proud of you. You know, I love seeing my mom smile. You know, when she smiles, you know, that, that kind of puts me at ease a little bit. One of the things you did, you bought her house, is that right? Yeah, I bought her house for Mother's Day last uh, May. And, you know, that was one of the craziest things that i ever done, mm. one of the craziest feelings I ever had, um, you know, when I walked her into her house. She didn't know that it was going to be her house. Wow. And then we had all our family and friends there, and everybody said, surprise. Uh, that's a moment I'll never forget. You're setting the bar very high for Mother's Day, Bobby. That's yeah, amazing. That yeah. had to be such an amazing I got chills Mother's right Day. now, actually, going through my arms and just talking about it. So, so sweet. Yeah, it's a, it's, a feeling that I, it's, a feeling that, it's a feeling that I love, for sure. Well, you're so talented, and you have such a good heart. We're just all so proud of you. I want to talk about the NBA briefly. I want to talk about the Razor Rex in a second, but let's yeah. get to the NBA. Okay. You're with the Knicks now. You've been with the Bulls, the Wizards. Yeah. How does it feel to be in New York? Um, I actually haven't been there, um, and I just signed with them in, um, on June 30th. Mm -hmm. So it's been about a month and some days now, and um, it's, it's all kind of started to hit me now. When it first happened, I'm like, yeah, okay, I signed with the Knicks, this and that, but you know, now it's that time is actually trickling down for the season to start happening. Um, it's a surreal feeling, um, you know, being in New York, being in, you know, at the Mecca of basketball, mm -hmm. um, it's going to be really, really fun. You know, I think Knicks fans are, you know, they're thirsty for success, mm -hmm. and um, I think we have the right guys to do it. How will it feel to play in Madison Square Garden? Yeah, it's, it's always crazy to play there, you know, the two times that I go there, you know, each, each and every year, but now being able to play there 41 plus times a year, um, it's going to be really, really fun. You know, they... They had it rocking back in the day. Hopefully, mm -hmm. that you know we can have it rocking back again now. I have a feeling all of us in Arkansas we're suddenly Knicks fans. All of a sudden, uh, yeah, we're going to sure, be sure. cheering you on. Let's talk about the Razorbacks. A new head coach. What yeah. do you think of Musselman? Uh, I love him, man. I love everything he's about. You know, he's a 
you know, hot courage to God. Um, mm -hmm. And he's a guy that, you know, really preaches, you know, toughness, you know, playing fast and playing smart. So, you know, I think the Razorbacks are going to be really, really good this year. You know, we have a lot of talent on our team that can really, you know, um, go places. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I love the Razorbacks. I watch them, you know, through and through each and every game they play during the year. And, you know, it's fun to watch, man. Oh, my goodness. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for taking time, coming Absolutely. back to Arkansas, coming into the studio. You have a chance to see Bobby in an amazing event. We'll put all the info on our website. But tickets are probably going to be gone very, very soon. Absolutely. We're back so. with more after this. Stick around. Thank you. Thank you. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Thanks.